Hi everybody, I uh, just want to do a quick review of what's going on with the SPY. Uh, and you can see today um, it's kind of starting to uh, curve over again and maybe even go to the downside. Um, you see some volume decreasing here, um, still positive for the most part. Um, and you see the MACD uh, kind of also getting a red candle um, for the difference between the signal and the MACD line. So, uh, it is generally considered an uptrend still. Um, you can see that we're kind of curving a little bit here, um, so it's just slightly on the uptrend side. Um, and we certainly haven't broken um, the price levels that we saw back there. Um, let's look at the SPY um, and compare this over the days. So now we can see a little more clearly because all the volume is here. So um, we are not quite at the level of this peak, we are kind of up in this level right here. So if you take this line, uh, let's draw a horizontal line here. Uh, and you can see that the horizontal line brings us back to right in here, this level. Um, so technically we are about uh, trying to hit levels of this uh, about, let's get the percentage points here, we can measure this. So if we are in the middle here to this line, it's about 4%, 4.5% uh, uh, up to get to that point. So one of the most interesting things is the force uh, in recent days that we've seen on the upward side. So this line right here, um, you can see right here, this is quite a bit above. Let me draw a horizontal line here. Uh, so you can see the peak here, and if we move this down just slightly, that's kind of the peak there, right? We basically don't have anything as forceful on the upper side until right about in here. So that was, uh, so this has been a pretty big move uh, recently, uh, in recent days. Uh, so one of the questions I have is, is this a good time to trade or not? Um, and one thing you can do is look at the volatility on that. So if the volatility uh, is increasing, then that kind of gives us a signal that it's better and better to trade. So um, the catch is that you have to trade in both the upward direction and downward direction. Um, typically, uh, volatility is not very good for the market, um, but we see volatility going up here in general, and it's pretty much likely to keep going up. So you see about a 12-point move per day um, is what the average trade or true range is. So 12 point move, uh, if we measure that, you know, it's about uh, a couple percentage points, but. So these are pretty exciting times. Um, we can see that we kind of have a downward channel here um, in this range here. So it is likely that we could see a reversal anytime here, um, or we could see a possible breakout. We're more likely to probably see a reversal. Uh, why do I say that? Um, you know, in general, the trend uh, is been going on for quite a number of months, um, basically almost a year now. So because the trend is basically down, um, it's hard to debate that um, it, outside of this channel. Um, you know, so we need to see a breakout of significant proportion. Now, this was a pretty good size breakout. Um, when we do look on the main charts here, um, I can bring you back and again, I can point out that this is basically the biggest point, uh, a positive point uh, that we've had since basically, uh, well, it was last year even, so more than a year ago. So basically, uh, we were still trying to get out of coronavirus land uh, and we were actually just getting out of that just then. So right in here, uh, just to break out of Corona's final end. That was kind of the big push here uh, that we saw. So this is gonna be a very important time uh, to start looking for a breakout, um, simply because we saw a significant percentage above these other um, highs. So all these highs in here, um, while significant, um, this one was major. So only problem is all these negatives were quite negative, uh, much more so. so we're kind of looking for a big high um, to compare with one of these two here um, to really break out of this channel and this channel. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for now. Um, <clears throat> looks like we're in a pretty solid uptrend, uh, kind of broke that recently. So 
it's not the first time we broke it in. We broke it here and then came back pretty significantly. So, um, you know, this general uptrend, it looks like, uh, you know, we're kind of even accelerating a little bit if you compare it with this uptrend here. So um, <clears throat> that's a good sign. Um, so it just remain to see what will happen in the next couple weeks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, discussion. Uh, let me know what thoughts and ideas you had. Thanks a lot.